Hey, this is a short video to show how to uh, enter a new Facebook account pixels to your existing niche tags in uh, Trackify Platinum. So this is what the niche tracking tag, um, niche tracking page looks like. Uh, it's switched here to Facebook pixel. That means um, each tag can here be assigned a Facebook pixel and you can assign a name there so you can keep track of it more easily. So if you go on, um, let's say we want to edit this field here, this tag here, so that we add a new Facebook account to this particular tag, then you just click edit here. It takes a while to pull because it pulls all the, all the products that belong to this tag out of the Shopify store. And we're working on making a faster way to edit this, but uh, but it does come back like this. So so now that this is here, you have the tag, then you can just name this account, account one, you know, whatever. It, uh, I would recommend that you name it consistently so that you know you name the account according to the niche that you want to promote it with, or just you know, it can be anything. This is completely up to you to just to help you keep track of which Facebook account you're using for which niche. Then here you would just uh, add um, a Facebook pixel, the Facebook, the Facebook pixel of this account. Okay, and then update. Well, this is not a real Facebook pixel ID, so we're gonna get an error in Facebook pixel helper if we look at that. But this is how it works. So this updates. Again, it takes longer than it should, and we're working on speeding that up. Um, good, so it's updated successfully. Now you can go back over to the to the list, and you can see here is the account and the fix, Facebook Pix ID has been added there. If you're creating a brand new tag, you can also do that here. Always start it like this, right? And then let's say this is a new niche or new tag, and we're gonna call this one account two and put another Facebook pixel ID in here. Again, this is a random one and add this pixel. So this goes very fast that way, but now, now this tag hasn't been assigned to any products yet. So, you know, they're, they're, so these are basically the two different ways to get a, a new Facebook account pixel into this. Now, what happens is these pixels here are going to be fired in addition to the pixels that are in your settings page, okay? There is no way, and it sh you shouldn't want to do that, to um, to turn these Facebook pixels off in any of the niche-specific pages or products, okay? But the um, the Facebook pixels that are down here in this uh, niche, pre niche checking tags, they are fired only on products that contain the tag that the niche is assigned to or the pixel is assigned to. Okay, so in all events, view content, add to cart, um, purchase, anything else we fire there, this pixel is only going to fire for any products that are involved in those actions, in those events that have the assigned pixel in, in them, okay? So what I would do, what I would suggest you do is that you use the main pixel for retargeting. Uh, you use the main pixel for retargeting across all the niches that you have in the same store. That's going to be a little bit easier to, uh, to admin that. And uh, you use the individual pixel IDs for specific niches as if you were advertising a certain segment of shirts, for example, on Teespring or another platform. Okay, let me know if you have any more questions on this.